Pulse, from writer-director Kiyoshi Kurosawa, sees a dead rising to haunt and prey on the living. But this isn't a case of the living dead. These aren't ghouls literally rising from their grave. No, these are the spirits, the ghosts of the deceased, crossing over into the waking world. And the doorway from the other side? It's the internet itself. Hi, I'm Cinematico Magnifico of AmoralCrackpot.com, and welcome to the Nightly Chill. Many people might recognize the name and idea of this movie from the American feature film of the same name. That movie came out in 2006 and featured Kristen Bell. But that surprisingly faithful adaptation came five years after this 2001 bit of classic Japanese horror, which might be better known to some by its original name, Cairo. The movie itself consists of two intertwining stories. In one, Kumiko Aso is front and center as Michi, a young woman who attempts to uncover the mystery of her co-worker's suicide. And in the other, Haruhiko Kato's Ryosuke is a college student who discovers his recent computer issues are just the beginning of a supernatural doomsday. And these two stories come together to form one of the greatest horror movies to blow up in notoriety during the glut of imports and remakes following the success of The Ring. In fact, Pulse might very well be the best modern Japanese horror film, period. The acting, the cinematography, the pacing, the concept, and thematic elements, everything about this movie is pitch perfect. There isn't a blemish to be found. Many watching this review might prefer the American remake, not just for the notable faces and language, but also because of that movie's larger-than-life feel. And that is a fair point. The American version of Pulse is bigger, bolder, and more eager to let you know when to feel bigger, badder feelings. It's a solid movie in its own right, in its own style, and I'd highly recommend that movie to anyone looking for such things. But it's the smaller scale intimate nature that is this movie's greatest strength. It's ultimately why the original Japanese movie is superior to its American remake despite lacking a larger budget and being a more exciting movie. Because the original Pulse is a movie that lets the mystery simmer. It allows the characters to be front and center while the supernatural stuff builds to a more haunting, personally resonating climax and conclusion. This is not a disaster movie with chaos being a big focus. Kurosawa instead focuses on meaning, on empathy and understanding of what is actually happening to the characters and the rest of the world. His movie isn't about the end of the world, but the emotional toll it takes on those caught up in the middle of a new kind of hell. Pulse is a movie that will stay with you, haunt you in its own way. It's not the most exciting movie, it isn't the most frightening either, not in the way you would expect at least, though it does have some incredibly haunting and disturbing moments. But that's the key word here, haunting. This movie will linger about like one of the dark specters in the film itself. And if you're in the mood to feel a bit stranger, a bit darker, a bit heavier, then Pulse is a movie definitely worth chilling with. But for those looking for something a bit more fun, a bit more traditional in its flash and scares, there's always the American remake. That's going to do it for us tonight on The Nightly Chill. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and also be sure to leave me any questions, comments, suggestions for future reviews, and maybe even discuss today's movie at greater length. And as always, this video is brought to you in part by our viewers. If you'd like to learn how to support this and other projects, please visit amoralcrackpot.com or check the description below. But until next time, y'all need to make like a tree and get out of here.